All right, what is going on, YouTube? Hope you're doing well, whatever time it is that you is when this you see this, because this will be recorded and posted later, so it's not live. Um, so, subject I've been meaning to cover for a while now. Um, that's kind of off the. Well, it's related because it's economic in nature, uh, really. Um, but if you haven't been seeing, um, there's been a lot of uh, talk lately and a lot of stories, a lot, I guess, being subjective, several um, stories about coin shops, uh, bullion dealers, you know, local coin shops having issues with working with their bank, in particular, depositing cash. And how that gets tracked in some places having their accounts closed and some of the discussion going on around that, right? Um, some people are saying, well, the guy who got his, uh, the, the one specific LCS, which I can't remember the name of it or when that was, but one specific location had their accounts closed by the bank and um, other places have had uh, limited uh, use of their bank, uh, limited deposits they can make, a lot of stuff stuff around that because if, if we didn't know banks don't like cash <laughs> um, the war on cash is real and why is that um, for the bank at the local bank level you know the managerial level it's a simple simple economic equation it costs more for them to process some of the large cash deposits and a lot of the commentary has been around that in a lot of different videos, like, well, banks, it's, it's expensive. They have to keep people when they're used to doing things on the uh, slide, right? They're used to doing things cheap, all electronic, all digital. Cards out, cards in, you know, they just do it all digital nowadays. So that, that's how they make their money. That's how they save money. Um, so they're not worried about that. But they don't like cash because they have to put extra people on it. You have to count it. You have to move it around. You have to physically move it extra armored cars depending on how much they have to deal with so that topic has become up a lot oh, while i'm waiting here i happen and so today or recently i went to my local coin shop and uh, while i was getting some stuff for the collection this is stuff for the collection not the stack um they uh i just asked the question like if, if he had been hearing about this uh, issue with banks and cash. <laughs> and so I, I, I'm kind of uncertain and I'm inferring things based upon body language to some of this. Um, but, uh, he laughed kind of like, Oh yeah. You know? And I kind of just asked like, yeah, I've been hearing, you know, the banks have a hard time with cash and, uh, that, uh, you know, they've been giving people hard times and stuff that specifically coin dealers cause all the cash. He's like, yeah, He's just talking about how he really likes to deal in checks. Uh, when people make large purchases in particular, he's like, I wish people would listen to me and uh, use checks. Because when he goes to deal with a bank, he has the same problem here locally. Um, and he kind of explained what I just explained. Like banks don't like to deal in cash because of the extra cost and time and staff and all that other stuff, right? Um, which it all makes sense. The issue I have in particular with some of the videos that have been out there are um, that a lot of people are excusing the actions of the banks just on the pure economic side and not really I don't know if they don't want to sound the alarm that's not focusing very well it must be the lighting um, not focusing very well um, they don't want to raise the alarm, I guess. Um, let's see if I get this to. It's hard here with the lighting, um, but the way I see it, this is just a symptom of the bigger problem of more so the banks wanting to go digital, right? Full on, get everything digital. Yeah, that's not gonna work. The lighting's off. Um, Anyway, some old stuff there I got. Throwback to the pre-Prussian days before the Prussian takeover. When all the good Germans left. Um, <laughs> no offense. <laughs> um, 
but my bigger issues is that people need to point it out for what it is. This is uh, going to trickle. It's going to come for everybody. The bank doesn't want you to work in cash. You, the uh, withdrawal amounts of cash you can take out of the ATM go down and down like every year, it seems like. I remember years ago, I mean, initially when ATMs first started, sure, the, there was limited, you know, but as it got more pop, more use and popular, like I think it was up to $1,000 you could take out in a day, and it slowly moved down to what you can withdraw out of the ATM now. And to the point to where now it's at 500 I think, for mine. Um, but like I was saying, I made a post a couple of week, a couple of months ago. Um, on any given day, there's probably more cash in your ATM than there is in the bank. And that's based on the idea that a lot of bank, a lot of ATMs now, you can use as a teller. They have a teller service at the ATM, so it's virtual. They check your ID, and you can use a teller as a you know there at the ATM. It's kind of weird, like instead of going inside, right? So you can withdraw up to like you know you can do the five thousand or four thousand, you know amounts like you know. When you get above five thousand, it's like you're you're asking for your firstborn child or something uh, to get cash out of the bank, but there's more cash in that ATM than there is in the bank. I think on most days, or at least that they're willing to part with, at least in that level, at least what they're willing to part with, right? Um, or if that helps at all, let's see. But uh, people need to point out the the path this is going on of. Removing the going to the cashless society. This is a symptom of the problem. Uh, the local banks, granted, they're doing their business model, and you know the the LCSs are just trying to do business, and so they have to modify uh, the way they do business. One of the one of the LCSs, which I've, I wanted to mention this, um, they they need to stay under ten thousand to avoid raising red flags, right? Um, and this is, in particular, this is Minot. I think this is Minot Coin and Bullion, Minot, North Dakota. He's on YouTube. I'll post the link to his channel down below in the this comment in the uh, information box, right? Um, he mentioned that he purposely, like, before he hits that threshold, he'll get to the bank and to make a deposit, you know, every other day or how often it is. Before, when he gets to 9000 he'll go to make a deposit. The bank or the system, the software the banks use, flags that as suspicious as if you're trying to make deposits to stay under 10000 Which, yes, you are, but you're not like, he's not like taking 18000 and dividing it up twice and making two different deposits. He's just hitting 9000 and going to the bank. But the software in the bank is still flagging it, even though he's legally under the 10000 So you're going to get flagged for 10000 they're going to flag you for 9000 And he was talking about how, and if I can find the video, I'll mention it where he talks about this. He was talking about uh, how they, he talked to the manager of the bank. and was like, what is the deal? Um, you know, he's a customer for so long a period of time, but they're still giving him a hassle and they flagged him on this issue. Um, so it's a whole thing. It's just like all the IRS rules. These are all designed to control you and people. And I wish a lot of more of these, uh, LCSs that were mentioned or have been through this would mention like this is all about the agenda of controlling your money and getting to that digital uh, age right um, but I just want to throw out there make sure everybody's aware the economic situation is perilous um, stay frosty on those at that end you know anything you can do to stay in the physical and out of the virtual is better for us right but they don't want you and all the rules are made to keep you in that virtual war world, right? There's no convenience in cash on the withdrawal end. They're making it as difficult as possible so that you can't go to the farmer's market with cash. You can't go to the yard sale with cash. Like it's all about control and about, and the big word inflation. Um, there's charts on the current M2 money supply dropping. They're, st they're stopping the process of putting physical cash out into the system uh, because that affects inflation. Um, the digital inflation, they'll deal with in their own way. Um, but they're trying to, because they want to profit off of it because inflation is how they make a lot of their, a lot of their profits and stuff. But uh, I'm trying to think of a better way to describe it. It's kind of one of those things I should have made this so late at night. 
Adventure Scout of the Galaxy talked about this uh, a couple weeks ago, I guess it's been. <coughs> but pay attention. This is an economic symptom of the greater problem. And, you know, you think you think that in some ways, like the big agenda to get central bank digital currency implied is this big nefarious plan. Um, but also at a certain level, like to do that is what the banks have to do to stay afloat. Uh, and that's why these banks are going to fail. Um if there, especially if there's a run on the banks, if these banks continue to have cash withdrawals, and I think there's a chart out there, a graphic on cash withdrawals and, and the banks that are in trouble. I think there was a British bank that just got in trouble uh, over the week, this past week. Um, Salvate did a, a video on that. Um, so these banks need a certain amount of cash and deposits to stay afloat. If people continue to rush in and get this stuff out uh, to do whatever with, right? Um, they're going to fail. The thing is, when these banks fail, they get eaten up by the big guys. So JP Morgan, all those guys are just using it as a chance to eat. Um, and that's where the big nefarious level is, right? The big Jamie Dimons and the big, uh, big banker types. Those are the ones that are real behind the agenda. Um, and the little guy, he's just trying to survive. You know, you're a little local bank. He's just trying to do business. You know, you can't really get mad at them. <clears throat> but and especially when you hear that little local banks um, are just using software to track, to meet compliance standards so that they do report, you know, those, you know, suspicious deposits. <clears throat> and with inflation, $10,000 is nothing anymore for a business, Right. Um, you withdrawing five hundred dollars isn't nothing anymore. That's a grocery trip for big families, right? Immediate, regular size family. I'll put it that way. You know, that's a that's a grocery trip nowadays. Like five hundred bucks, and that's all you can get out of the ATM in a day. You know, like and all these restrictions are pushing people up against the inflationary curve, and it's just uh, it's a disaster waiting to happen. Something's going to happen. Something's going to break. Um, stay frosty. Pay attention to that stuff. Uh, it's just, an, again, another sign. So just putting some information out there. If you're not aware of kind of the way the banks are treating people that use cash in large amounts or more than what the normal person uses, you know, business. And you would think businesses everywhere would have this, but apparently LCSs are where it's really at because they use uh, more cash than other. Because people that go to get stuff like this, uh, they like to use cash because they don't want the those government types tracking everything they do, you know. Um so, yeah, stay frosty, YouTube. Prep hard, live free.